Alrighty, today we have the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh engine stand, the thousand pound. We're gonna unbox it, put it together, and then we'll stick an engine on it and see how it does. Construction book. Alrighty, it looks like it came with everything. We got the four motor mounts, base plate, the stand. Alrighty, so let's get this thing put together. When you open up your bolt bag, you're gonna wanna be careful because you got all of these little tiny lock washers in there. You got one bigger lock washer and you got your little washers, nuts, bolts. But you just don't want to lose any of those. And then you get your other little pieces. Alrighty. They're put together. Well, I ran into my first problem already. And they were welding this together. Let's see. You can see that bit of weld in the hole. Can't get a bolt past that one. And then you got this one that the washer sits on crooked. So I'm going to grab a file and we'll file those out and be back in a minute. Well, just a little bit of hand filing here. And right there, maybe I should knock that edge down. Yeah, whatever the bolt got in there. It's just the washer that messed up on that one. So, we'll get this wheel put on and get the rest of it put together. Show you this real quick. All right, so this is gonna be your bottom set. Here you're under the base here and be that one and that hole is gonna be the bottom it's already got the washer welded on all you got to do is put the lock washer on it and put it in that'll line up with that hole and go in there but it doesn't come with a bolt or a, a nut for it because the nut for it is welded in there so, a little bit of a surprise for me, but it makes sense because you can't really get in there to put it together any other way. So, let's see if they have it lined up properly. Well, that wasn't bad. You just had to pick up on this uh, arm a little bit because it was just, just a hair off. You pick it up, get it lined up, put the bolt in. No big deal. But now we have to go around tighten up all the bolts then we'll get it stand stood up and we'll get the engine mount put on it all 
Well, I have everything tightened up now from the wheels and the cross member and the one underneath the. So, if you're gonna do this, be ready to run through your toolbox because these nuts are half inch, the bolt 7 16 uh, this nut and bolt, eh, I believe are the same size. Don't remember exactly what they were. Uh, 11 sixteenths. Yep. Yep, 11 sixteenths. And then the one in the back was three quarter. So, you'll need at least that many. So let's get this base plate on with the engine mount arms and then we'll get the handle on it. All right, so we have it all together. It seems to be really tight from just the bolts. We'll see if that, how long that lasts. I mean, the only thing that has lock washers on it is the front wheels in this back pin but these two in the front don't uh this motor mount they don't have lock washers so i'll probably i'll probably get some heavier bolts and then some lock washers for them just to be extra safe i don't want things coming loose while i'm working on it i did notice when i was putting it together there's a little bit of a gap up here and when you spin it you can see how it doesn't sit in that hole quite right which isn't a big deal when it doesn't have weight on it but say you go to rotate your engine and it is say a thousand pound engine I mean that's a lot of weight to be rotating on that little handle as it is now you have to push it forward some and hold it to get your pin in so I don't know I think they need to take care of that spacing or do something with their holes I mean I'm guessing they probably designed it like that to reduce the friction but as soon as you pull the pin it's gonna slide back and cause the friction anyways another thing I would have liked to seen is a washer on the other side of this key pin because if you're reefing on this and say you use this stand a lot you may shear this pin off and then all of a sudden you have a engine that has no support it's just gonna go wherever it goes and you're gonna be stuck with a handle in your hand but other than that it doesn't come with the uh, engine bolts you have to get those separately but other than that I think it's a pretty decent unit the welds look decent they don't look quite like coins stacked up but but then again it may have before they put a gallon of paint on it I mean that looks like they put a lot of paint on it which is whatever but yeah the welds look good the structure looks good We'll stick an engine on it and see how it fares with that. All right, so I got a motor on it and it moves good. You can turn it. It does have a little bit of play just from the uh, pinhole. It doesn't feel tippy at all. I mean, even rocking it like that, the front wheels come up and then, no, they don't. Where's that plate coming from? But yeah, I mean, feels really good. Let's see how well it rotates with a full engine on it. There's halfway. And all the way back. Let's 
See, there's that pin alignment that I was talking about earlier. Now I can't. They need to dispace that better. See if I can. Against the wall, maybe. Now I did, I did put, put a lock washer on here and I used the uh, transmission bolts. I just put some uh, washers on here for spacers to hold it on. That way I didn't have to buy bolts for it. But as you've seen, that gap in here definitely bites you when you take that pin out and rotate it. Then you got to shove the whole unit forward again to put the pin back in. Okay, I've been using this engine stand for a minute now, and I have one more thing to add. The front of this has pivoting wheels, which is great for moving it, but these wheels don't have the locks on them, so they're constantly free to move. So that means if you're working on this engine and you twist it, the whole stand's gonna move with it. So you're gonna have to put a foot on it or put it up against a wall or something, block it in so it doesn't move. Which I'm sure doesn't help in a lot, but that would definitely help with the whole uh, engine mount sliding back. Because every time I take this out, I have to put it up against this table, shove the full unit forward again to put that pin in. But, I would say, overall, for what it is, I would give it a solid B+. Hey, if you made it this far, I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Have a great day.